In this video, we will explain how your property taxes impact your housing affordability threshold. For simplicity, we will use the acronym HAT. You may ask, what is HAT? Basically, it is a measurement that will help you determine if you can afford to live in your house. It's not a new concept. In the 1800s, it was stated that a man should not spend more than one week's wages for his monthly rent. So they believed back then that 25% was an acceptable number in order to provide a roof over your, their head. In the 1970s, the U.S. government increased it to 30% for some unknown reason. So exactly how do we calculate what your hat percentage is? It's really quite simple. Some people may say, it's easy peasy. All you really need are four numbers. You will need the amounts you pay for your monthly mortgage, monthly utilities, monthly property taxes, and your annual income. Now, what comes next? Relax. Take a deep breath. We can do this. For example, we will use $700 for our monthly mortgage, $200 for our utilities, and $300 for our monthly property taxes. When we add all three numbers, we get $1,200 for our monthly housing costs. Hold on. We're almost there. Multiply the monthly housing costs by 12 to get the annual costs. In our example, our annual housing costs are $14,400. Let's assume that our annual household income is $45,000 for our example. To calculate your HAT percentage, you divide your annual housing costs by your annual income. In our example, our hat is 32%. A logical question would be, what does that really mean? If your hat reaches 30%, then your house is deemed unaffordable for you. It does not mean that you have to move, but you will have less money to spend on your needs and wants. You will find that your budget for food, insurance, vacations, transportation, Will not stretch as far as you would like. If you are a renter, the formula works the same for you. Just add your monthly rent and your utilities to arrive at your monthly housing costs. We would like to remind renters that they should not be deceived into thinking that they do not pay property taxes. Your landlord pays property taxes and merely passes those costs to you in your monthly rent. What happens to your hat percentage if your school board wants to pass another levy? We can help you answer that question. Let's assume that your school board wants to pass a one mil levy. The easiest calculation we have found is to use $35 per mill for every $100,000 of home valuation. If your home is worth $200,000, the levy will cost you an additional $70 per year in property taxes. Here is what most people do not realize. In order to not move closer to the 30% unaffordability threshold, in our example, you would need to earn an additional $218.75 each year to keep your hat percentage at 32%. Be sure to determine if the tax levies are continuous or a CPT, which means a continuing period of time. Translation, this tax levy is forever. You don't get to vote on this levy again. That's pretty much our feeling too. Do not let them price you out of your home that you have worked all your life to achieve.